there's some of it has details, some of it doesn't, some of them have actual pictures of people, some of them don't. Like, I don't think there should, they should be able to upload anything that's not an actual picture. Right, right, like, right. 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 That, for, for me, I'm like, yep, yeah, nope. Mm, wait, wait, yeah, I don't, I don't need to see a, see a picture of a tire. Right. right. That doesn't tell exactly. me who you are. Right, exactly. But a picture of Biggie. Uh, you uh, know, yeah. <laughs> you got Biggie. <laughs> and if I'm not mistaken, he's not even with us anymore. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not something I want to see. And then, like... You can't go back to see the people that you hurt. Like some people, I just want to go back and just take a second look and right. be like, let me see what 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 about you that jumps out that you know I actually like. You can't go back to the people that you hurt. So right. you have to wait for them to hurt you back, and then y'all have a conversation. And at that point, I don't want to talk to them no more. The, the crazy <laughs> thing is, is not only can you not go back, but you can't go forward. If you no. just want to skip somebody, it makes you either like or dislike the person or, you know, say yes or no to the person before you can actually move on to the app. And like you were saying, I would have liked to have been able to go back and forward, especially when there was somebody that I might have kind of had a little vibe to, right, but I right. didn't even get that option. Right. right, right, right. I didn't like that if y'all matched each other, then it shows up as a message. Right. I didn't like that because the message thing kept just going up, going up, going up. I click it, it just says, you and you, this person matched. Right. I'm like, okay, then the people that like you shows up as a notification. Okay. You got to scroll through that one by one. That is irritating. I just want the option to just scroll <laughs> up and just see. <laughs> you know, exactly. Right, exactly. right. That was too much. That was what too what much. did you think, Allie, about that app? Um, you know I mean, we have to ask the white girl, okay? We have to. Basically, the way it turned out for me, um, it, it was like Tinder for me. Like, I mean my matches or my messages coming in like I had tons of like messages that came in or you know people that liked me or whatever but I mean not that I've met any of them so I can't completely judge them but really the quality of what came to me was like Really? Really? <laughs> this is what really? my profile built right. for me. Right. Right. Really? And I said that so many times. Like, I would be looking through it and I'd scroll and I'd be like, really? This is what Facebook is trying to match me with? For real? <laughs> it's like it pulls stuff out of people's profiles, but, but if you think about it, a lot of people's profiles were incomplete because mm -hmm. some of the things just for you people out there that are trying to look for a match if you're really serious, first of all, you need to have a description of who you are. Secondarily, you need to have a picture of who you really are. A real picture and it needs to be an updated picture right. there was so many pictures that we looked in there at, and then you, you talk to the person either on FaceTime or what have you and you know that it wasn't that picture because the picture was like a decade or two mm -hmm. before now mm -hmm. and and so that's the other thing is is too the profile they would have pictures of children and all that so you really don't even know what you're getting so I didn't even think that that the people were actually taking it Seriously, mm -hmm. did, did you get that? Right. Sim I didn't get yes. that they were taking it serious. But I mean, no. I, I didn't get that Facebook is the the platform that we want to go for to look for men anyway. Right, right. So the people that were on Facebook that I was getting was like, okay, and I did meet a couple of cool cool people that I talked to or whatever. But I'm like, I started asking specific questions like, are you financially stable? Like, are you capable of traveling? Do you have children under mm -hmm. the age of 16? Like, I started becoming very specific about what it is that I want. Right. Because there are things that I don't want to deal with. Right, right. I'm not... Can you move around when I'm ready to go on vacation? Right, right. No? You right. ain't got the money? Okay, next. That's okay. I mean, I, I, I don't have time. Right, right. What about you, Bess? What, did you, what, what type of people were you getting? Oh, my God. All the young people. I mean, and I'm, I'm, I'm young, but that ain't the kind of Th this people This is our 20-something bringing up the rear, y'all. <laughs> those wasn't the kind of people that I wanted. And then something that we talked about last week was the way that they approached me. Like, mm -hmm. most of it was just like an emoji, like a heart or like, damn, or something like that. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like people took this Facebook thing seriously. seriously. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I believe that I would feel more safer dating on Facebook than I would like on Tinder. Because Facebook, you kind of have to build up a history. Mm -hmm. Like, you got to build up a, a, a profile history. You can see how long somebody's had a Facebook and all that other stuff. So I kind of, I would, if I was on an internet date, I would feel more safer dating on Facebook than I would on like Tinder or um Whatever, P plenty of fish. Because you really talked about internet dating. What do you think, uh, Allie, about the whole site and everything that you saw? Um, I got, basically, I feel the same that it was, I mean, it was just a really simple 
program that you know either you could like somebody you couldn't like somebody it was like like almost like tinder swipe left swipe right but you had no option to go back and look there was never anything that was really i mean some people had a pretty well filled out profile mm-hmm. but for the most part especially what came to me not so much I would say, like, age-wise young, because I set my age a little bit higher, Mm -hmm. but I feel like mentally I got all the, you know, little boys in the group that were, you know, Mm -hmm. the the, the same thing, either just an emoji or damn or, like, everything that I said, you know, about dating in this this area that, you know, how they speak to women, it would just came through via via a message on Facebook. So, honestly... um, I really didn't even stop to have conversations with anything that came into my inbox because at that point, whether we just liked each other or, you know, I started a conversation or they started a conversation, it quickly was no longer a conversation in which I was, you know, like, I mean, I get the point here, like, this, you're looking for one thing and they... Right, oh, right. Well, see, I didn't have that. I actually went out on a date. Okay, oh, talk about you. Tell us. <laughs> I actually went out on a date, a breakfast date on Saturday, and I mean, we had the greatest time. We had great conversation. It's not re- financially ready for me. Okay. Like, got children, small children, you know, the whole back and forth thing. I mean, yeah. and that's for somebody that's not me. Like, mm-hmm. I am now an empty nester, so I don't have time to be trying to help somebody raise kids. Right, right. So, for me, that was like a a no-go for me. Like, can you travel once a year? Not really. Well, I mean, we can sit here and have all the conversation you want, but this, right. it's not but going, it's not going anywhere, anywhere for me. Yeah. Because my mentality is way, like, way past that. Like, mm-hmm. I am on the go now on a regular basis. I want to be traveling all the time. And if you're not capable of doing those things with me, then... Deuces, dude. I'm right. like, I'm not, I'm no not gonna waste time. your right. time, and nor are you going to waste my time. And I'm very upfront and open about it, right through the door. Like I'm not sneaking a hat. I don't need you to pay for my vacation. I'm very capable of paying for my own. But can you pay for yours so we can move around? Right. right. Like right. I'm very independent. I'm very headstrong that way. And I have to recant the statement that I made last week about people coming to me and approaching me, saying that how how you doing? How you, no, I need you to approach me and ask me how my week was. Right, right, right. How like, how was your day? Yeah. Like, how are you doing today? Those type of ways you can approach me and have a conversation and talk to me before you even ask me if you can buy me a drink because I right. might not feel like they're bothered with you. And the minute you allow somebody to buy you a drink, they feel like they can linger yeah. and they stand here and they can talk to you for a minute. Mm-hmm. No, I don't need you to buy me a drink. I'm capable of buying my own drink. Thank you very much. But stand there and hold a conversation with me for a second and see if you want to spend your money on right. buying me a right. drink. right. Don't right. just come lead right. with the right. drink. Right. right. Don't lead with it. Lead with conversation and then say, you know what? Can I buy you a drink? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we can continue our conversation that we're already previously having. Right. Like, don't walk up to me and say, ooh, you so beautiful. Can I buy mm-hmm. you a drink? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Well, lucky, at least you get them to lead with you to buy a drink. Okay, so here, here's the thing for for women over 50 that always happens is, is that th- this is the thing. You, you get these people, they come to you and they say, oh, you know, uh, I'm I'm so and so, and the first thing that comes out of their mouth is I have grandchildren or I have children and I need somebody to help me with my kids. Now let me just tell you this, like D'Artania, Bess, and Allison, if we're not living our lives and getting to the place as women where we want to be independent so that we can come take care of your grandkids and your kids. Let's just get that off the table right yeah, then and there. Yes. And I need you to stop telling me how you need me to do that because here's the deal. What makes a person think? That after you have gotten to the point where you want to be independent, that now you want to go back into domestication. I'm not. Tra- I'm not trying to be a domesticated person at this point. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm not trying to be running around the streets like a banshee with my head cut off. But by the same token, I'm not want to raise other people's kids because here's the philosophy for me: if I wanted a whole bunch of kids in my house, I would have had a bunch of kids. I don't have a bunch of kids. I have one daughter. She's 35, and I'm an empty nester, and I like it like that way. But I like what Wendy Williams said. She was like. With her husband, Kevin, apparently he went out and he got himself messed up and now he's ready to have a baby. She was like, Pampers, please. I ain't got no time for no Pampers and no bottles. Okay, so for all of you people out there that's looking for somebody to take care of you or to take care of your grandkids, your children, we're not it. Just so you know, that's not us, okay? 
So let's just get that straight. Has anybody else had that situation where the person reach out, the first thing they tell you is that, you know, my wife is gone, my kids is gone, and I got grandkids I got to raise, and I need your help? It ain't necessary. No. <laughs> it ain't necessary. Right, it be baby mama drama that I cannot deal with because I feel like now people don't know the difference between co-parenting mm -hmm. and trying to control somebody because they have a child. Right. And and that's the where I want to be. I want to be at the with somebody who can co-parent right. and right. that be it. Ain't yeah. no way I sleep with her occasionally or right. I sleep on the couch or right. I, I'm just right. for my daughter. Right. Yeah. I don't have it's time for that. that. I don't have time for that. So I can deal with co-parenting and then if I'm going to be involved with you, of course I will be involved with your child because you come as a package deal. Absolutely. But I'm not I'm not interested in, in playing mama right. or, you know what I'm saying, taking care of your child. With, I'm not interested in that. In other words, we're not going to stop the things that we worked all our life to try and achieve and accomplish at this point to go backward in time because we've walked, we've been there and we've done, we've that. done that. Allison, for me, I don't I don't necessarily. I think I'm in the in between bracket. I don't have people or men that say they want me to help them with their their children or grandchildren. I'm not. not I mean, I guess sometimes like it, it's an issue of you know um, a mother of their children that they don't get along with, mm -hmm. but. Where I find myself is that I usually have, like, young men come to me, and I have to tell them I'm not trying to change their diapers. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to raise the man that I'm sleeping right. with. You, right. Know, right. Right. Like, right. you yeah. know what I mean? Like, age is not necessarily everything, but, but it's a lot. When you act like you're 15 years younger than me, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. What What do you want me to say to you? And I've had to say that. Like, I'm sorry. I don't have time to change your diapers. Like, I'm not trying to teach you or anything like that. Unless you hear with me, we are already on the same level. I don't care what age you are, but unless you hear with me, I ain't got time. So let's, let's just talk about what we would like to see from a dating app to summarize this all. First of all, if you have, if you're going to build a dating app, we really needed to be able to go back and forth just like you would in any other app where I can go backward on the page, I can go back three, four pages. I don't want a program that's written that has a flag turned on where I can only go forward after I select or, or dislike somebody. Because, again, women are subject to change their mind as are men out there. The other piece is, is that you probably need to update your profile. If you're serious about dating on Facebook, take the picture of your dog off because... I may not be a dog lover, okay? You automatically turn me off. Uh, if you're standing in the picture with a giant uh, assault rifle, I'm probably not going to date you either. <laughs> I saw those pictures too. If you have several tattoos and I can't really see your facial features, that ain't going to work either. If you got a blunt hanging out with your mouth, that ain't going to work either. You got pictures and of money. No. That ain't going to work either. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. And if your dog is licking you in your mouth, say it with me, people. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> no, thank you. Number one, turn off. All right, so keep those things in mind if you're out there on Facebook and you're really seriously thinking about dating someone. Remember, put your true profile out there, keep the pictures of the pets off, and don't leave with the fact that you need somebody to come take care of you because what we need as women these days is someone who is going to provide support for us, not necessarily financial, but spiritually for us and maybe physically when we need it down there. Someone who's going to promote us and support us in the things that we're doing in order to better ourselves and move ourselves to upward mobility. And finally, that person who is going to protect us. That is the biggest thing. If you're running off fast leaving me, then we can't have anything to do. So all you joggers out there, you marathon runners, we love you, but no. So that being said, any final thoughts, ladies? We've given them a summary of the things that we need. What else?